The Impact of the Pandemic on Teen Mental Health How has the COVID-19 pandemic affected teen mental health? The answer may be more shocking than you think. In the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported a significant decline in the mental health of teenagers. This isn't just a minor blip on the radar, we're talking about a substantial portion of our youth. Nearly 3 in 10 high school students reported experiencing poor mental health, and it doesn't stop there. A staggering 42% reported persistent feelings of sadness or hopelessness. Imagine for a moment being a teenager again. Remember the roller coaster of emotions, the self discovery, and the social interactions that shaped who you are today. Now imagine going through all of that amidst a global pandemic. The opportunities for social interaction, so critical in these formative years, were suddenly ripped away, leaving many teens feeling isolated and alone. The influence of the pandemic on social skills development has been significant, leading to an increase in anxiety and depression among teenagers. It's like a domino effect. The social skills that are usually honed during these years have been put on hold. And the result? Increased anxiety and depression. This isn't about teenagers being overly dramatic or not being able to hang out with their friends. This is about a critical period in their development being disrupted and the serious long-lasting effects it can have on their mental health. Clearly, the pandemic has had a profound impact on our teenagers. But what can we do to help? Parents, it's time to step up. Your role in supporting your teen's mental health has never been more crucial. In the wake of the pandemic, our teens are facing unprecedented mental health challenges. As parents, our role in helping them navigate these challenges is paramount. One way we can do this, as clinical psychologist Francia Day suggests, is by encouraging our children to engage in social activities. It might sound simple, but the act of participating in social activities can significantly boost a teen's confidence and overall mental health. Whether it's joining a club at school, taking part in a local sports team, or simply hanging out with friends, these interactions are crucial for their social skills development. They provide an opportunity for teens to express themselves, form connections, and gain a sense of belonging, all of which are key in combating feelings of anxiety and depression. But remember, it's not just about pushing them out the door and hoping for the best. It's about being there to guide them, to listen to them, and to support them. It's about creating a safe space where they can share their feelings without fear of judgment, where they can voice their concerns and know that they are being heard. Engaging in open and honest communication with our teens can help alleviate their feelings of sadness and hopelessness. It can help them understand that it's okay to not be okay, that it's okay to ask for help. As parents, we can help them navigate these complex emotions and provide them with the tools they need to cope. And while the pandemic has certainly posed a significant challenge to our teens' mental health, it has also sparked a broader conversation around mental health. It has reduced stigma and emphasized the importance of mental health as a part of overall health. As parents, we can seize this opportunity to further educate ourselves and our teens about mental health, to break down barriers and foster understanding. Parents, your support can make a world of difference. But what about the wider community? It takes a village to raise a child, and it takes a supportive community to nurture a teen's mental health. The pandemic has been a catalyst for a much-needed conversation around mental health, bringing it to the forefront of our collective consciousness. It's become clear that mental health is not a standalone issue, but an integral part of our overall well-being. The silver lining of this difficult period is the reduction in stigma associated with mental health issues. People are more open to discussing their struggles, seeking help, and offering support. This openness is a significant step towards creating an environment where teens feel safe to express their feelings without fear of judgment or misunderstanding. Community support is critical in this journey. It may come in the form of organized community programs, school initiatives, or simply everyday interactions. It's about creating a nurturing environment where teens feel heard, understood, and supported. We can all play a role in this. By educating ourselves, reaching out, listening, and offering a helping hand, we can contribute to a culture of understanding and empathy. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.